Many growers are aware of the advantages of having aeration on their storages and the obvious ones are cooling that grain temperature to help maintain the grain quality itself and also making it difficult uh, for the insects to breed, that lower temperature uh, slowing their life cycles right down. And finally for many growers that time where we're pushed and we need to get that grain off at that little bit higher moisture content um, we can actually hold that grain safely for that per short period of time until we're able to dry the grain or blend it. Uh, so these are some of the, the clear advantages for aeration. One of the ways in which we can actually improve the final result with our um, grain cooling, um, rather than just us manually turning those fans on and off or even just using the little time clocks, um, we recommend uh, growers consider actually using an automatic controller this will actually pick out the best 100 hours of quality air during a month uh, rather than you or I having to remember um, to try and turn those fans on on a cold night um, or um, which often happens we get distracted and we've forgotten to turn the fans off when they shouldn't be on. What we should be targeting in summer is about 20 degrees Celsius for grain temperature. Uh, through the winter we find certainly you can achieve under 15 degrees Celsius. When we're actually looking to manage that grain when it first comes into storage off the header, there's three main phases that we need to take the grain through. The first one we call uh, manual or continuous and this is where we're really trying to put one full uh, purge if you like of cooling air right through that full profile. That harvest heat that comes in with the grain uh, we want to actually drop that temperature pretty quickly and get a little bit of uniformity. So that's phase one and that's run the, running the fans 24 hours around the clock, roughly five days. The second phase is what we call auto purge and in some controllers it was termed rapid. Here we're actually looking to put another full purge of cool air if you like through the grain and this is the second phase of cooling and it's picking out roughly 12 hours in a day, the coolest air, for about seven days. And the final phase, if you like, where the controller really uh, uh, gives you the full benefit of its um, automatic system is the normal or auto protect phase. And this is where, as we mentioned earlier, it's picking out the best 100 hours of air per month. One of the things that Auto Controller won't do for us is actually visually inspect that grain. So we should be taking a sample from the base and the top, sieving it for insects once a month. The other thing we can do is probe the grain with a temperature probe and that'll see are we actually achieving um, the results we're looking for from um, our aeration.